Hey, I'm Kelly Walker and I'm here with the iDoggy Bag Foundation. With me is Linda Reinstein, the founder of iDoggy Bag. Hello Kelly! Hello Linda! <laughs> Alright, so iDoggy Bag bags are cute and fun accessories that come in various shapes and sizes and I personally have several. I'm a bit obsessed. But it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I'll claim it. So I'm starting to see more and more people on the streets with their very own iDoggy bag. Is that great? Is that great? Fine. I'm very excited about that. <laughs> but I'm not sure if they know that this is part of a, a nonprofit organization. That's the good news, bad news. We were trying to create um, kind of like a, a trademark uh, item that you could know that you were giving to, to a good cause. Um, and getting a cute person in yeah. return. So I know how the Nipper Alert started. We've covered that. But how, how did the iDoggy Bag Foundation come about? We talked about the Nipper Alert, and of course, everybody, you can see the Nipper Alert, thanks to Kelly Catch online, up to speed. Um, uh, the Contaminated Food and Feed Alert System. So, Nipper was my pet cat, as we know, and he got sick, and then we took him to the vet, keep, you know, keeping him alive. He bit me in my forearm. Um, I took Nipper to the vet, of course, and the vet looked at me and went, mm, you need to go to the hospital. Who knew? There's this thing called like cat scratch fever, cat bite fever. You know, you think it's only from the movies. Um, the poison actually tracks up into your veins and it heads for your heart um, because it wants to kill you. Oh, <laughs> why not? Because it's an infection and that's what happens, goes through your bloodstream. Long story short, thankfully they were able to stop the infection. And I said, you know, if this happened to me, God forbid it should happen to somebody else. So we started the iDoggy Bag Foundation to promote food safety um, in people and pets. Everything was all going well until, until I went for a mammogram. And do you know what happened? They diagnosed breast cancer. My cancer was exasperated from a slow growing stage one to a fast growing stage two because of a cat bite, which was administered to me by poor nipper. So if it wasn't for that melamine poisoned food from China, your cat eating it, your cat biting you to you getting cancer. It's all kind of a domino effect. Yeah, can you believe that? Exactly. What has happened and the reason we we decided that food safety was a key issue um, is because now that I'm a cancer survivor, I'm I actually have one of those compromised immune systems. So I eat the bad food or anybody for that matter with compromised immune system diabetes, heart any of that is susceptible to the food poisoning, not on a small scale, but on a big oh. scale, like maybe you die. Okay, so this is really dear to your heart then. Yeah, actually kind of is. Yeah. <laughs>